Hello all. In this video, we will learn how to find the average and maximum and minimum of the uh, numbers in the given array. So first we will try to read uh, the array elements and then we will try to find out what is the maximum number and what is the minimum number in that particular given array. Right. So as usual, uh, maximum is you need to find out the highest element and minimum is what is the lowest element in the given array. And also total number of, uh, uh, sorry, total number of elements average has to be find out and as well. You need you as we are uh, doing average, we also do the sum of those elements. Right. So we'll just try to print all those minimum, maximum, average and sum in the given arrays. Right. So first, as usual, we are starting with hash include stdio.h and the int main right <clears throat> so first i'm declaring an array a of size 100 so within 100 i can take any number of values and then some variable i and also s is equals to zero or maximum and minimum two variables and one variable n uh, and for average we require floating type value so we are taking float average right so first i'm asking user to enter the array size so that size is being stored into n so if I give five, those five elements, I have to store it in the array, right? So next, printf enter array element. So next statement, I'm asking user to enter those array elements. If suppose I had given values like two, four, five, one, six into the array, right? So each time I need to repeat, I mean, I need to loop some value that is each time I have to read those values. How many times should I read the values? Five times because I had given n value as five. So for that reason, you are using here for loop for i is equals to zero, i less than n. Uh, a zero is less than five. Condition is true. So then you will enter into this for loop. And in this for loop itself, I'm doing the sum as well as average, right? So I'm reading and also I'm doing addition and also I'm doing average of that particular array, right? So uh, scanf percentile D ampersand A of I. So A of I ampersand A of I is, uh, is nothing but the A of 0th element. As I said, if I give 2, 4, 5, 1, 6, first element is 2. So 2 will be stored at A of 0th position, index 0, uh, the position will have the value 2. Next, S is equals to S plus A of I. So, S I had initialized, initialized value with the 0. So, 0 plus A of I. So, A of I value, what did I give? I had said I will give 2 as the first element. So, 0 plus 2, it will be right and then next here itself I am doing average. Average is equals to S by N right average is equals to s by n so 2 by n <clears throat> n is 5 so you'll get some value right then next uh, sorry uh, then again your i value will be incremented so then uh, i value will become 1 so a of 1 you will store the next value as 4 you will do the sum you will do the average and then next i value will become 3 i said i'll give 5 so sum plus 5 then average so like this, this loop will be repeated until uh, until the n values are read by the system, right? So after that, you are trying to print that sum. So sum of the array elements is stored in S and the average of the elements is stored in AVG variable, right? So those two values we will print. Next, what we should do, we need to find out the maximum element in the array and, uh, and also the minimum element in the array so what i'm trying to do is i'm taking a variable max and i'm assigning the first element to that and then what i'll do is i'll just compare that a of i that is zero uh, max value with the rest of other values the rest of the array elements other array elements if suppose i had any greater than value of max then i'll print the max value in the similar fashion, for minimum also, I'm taking another variable minimum and I'm assigning the first element of the array to that particular minimum, right? Mm -hmm. Then what I'm doing, I'm repeating. I need to repeat for each and every element, right? So for that reason, we are using for loop. Once they enter into the for loop, I'll check out that A of I with the whether it is less than minimum or not. If we find that it is a minimum value, then you will tell that the minimum value is A of I, right? So, in that fashion, we are trying to do the minimum and maximum value.
so i'll just tell this once for loop check it out so for i is equals to 0 i less than n so 0 less than 5 condition true so you'll enter into this if loop if a of i that so 0 a of 0 value is 2 what is the maximum value we had assigned a of 0 to max so 2 greater than 2 2 greater than true I didn't give any equals to here. So condition false. So you will not do anything. You will just come out of the loop and you will come here and increment the i value. Now i value will become 1. 1 less than 5 condition true. So what is now a of 1? a of 1 I had given 4. 4 greater than max. Yes, condition is true. So you that time you will enter into this full loop and you will make max value as a of i. So a of i is a of 1. a of 1 I had the value as 4. So 4 will be allocated for this max. Again you will come here and you will increment the i value. You will check the condition. So now i value will become 2. So for 2 I had given, I mean for second position I had given the value as 5. So, A of second 5 greater than max. Max is only 2 what we had as initialized with the first element, right? So, 5 is greater than max. So, your max will be updated again. Again, you will come here. You will check the condition. I mean, you will increment the I value. So, now I value will be 3. In 3, I had given 1. So, 1 greater than max. Condition is false. You will come out. Again, I will get a... Uh, you will increment the i value. Now your i value will be 4. 4 less than 5. Condition true. So I had given the value as <coughs> 6. Right. So 6 is greater than 2. So now your max value will be 6. You will come and you will again increment the i value. I value will become 5. 5 less than 5. Condition false. You will just come out of this value. Right. So what do I have in the max value? I had maximum value as 6. So you will just print that one. In that similar fashion, you will also do the min of a is min, minimum value, right? So here I had given the max greater than symbol. Here you need to give the less than symbol. Then you will get the min and max of the array elements. And the repetition of the loops is very similar to the max. Only the only what we are trying to change is just this particular condition over here. I had given here greater than. I had given here less than. So that you will get the... Uh, uh, max and minimum elements of the particular array. So let us uh, do compilation once and then running. So I'm giving same array size as 5 and as I said I'll give you the values as 2, 4, 5 and uh, 1 and 6. So some of the array elements is 18 average by 5 if you'll do some 3.5 uh, 3, 18 divided by 5 uh, and uh, then greatest of elements is 6 lowest of element is 1 one second I'll just check it out 2 plus 4 so 18 divided by 5 you should get 5 3 is a 15. So 3 point something you should get, right? So on, on average, it was displaying as 3. Okay. So this is what the program is. And uh, that's all for this video. Thank you.